records have always led the way. I mean, back from the 1880s, from steam locomotives, for some of the first people to ever use welding. It's incredible for me to look back and look at the, the, the history of the Boilermakers and say they always seem to be the leading one. A lot of people look at us in our organization. A contractor like us, when we hire a union Boilermaker, we know that person is showing up, living a standard. For the Boilermakers to be successful, their owners need to be successful. The industry and owners are really pushing human performance tools. With the most programs, we were light years ahead of anybody, and we still are. And the Boilermakers have embraced those human performance tools. Nobody has a program like we do, I mean, not even close. And we want to maintain that moving forward. When you set a standard high and employers see that standard, they expect it and it becomes the new norm. And that's where most is today. We are the advantage to the contractors and the owners and we're where everybody else wants to be. Right before these most programs started, we could have been out of business. Back when I started, you didn't have safety glasses. You didn't have harnesses, you had a belt. You didn't have to wear it if you didn't want to. I would hear guys talking about, we climb up the side of an iron building if we could just get a good enough hand grip. People dying. I mean, used to go on jobs and say, okay, two people might die on this job. Huh, two people, that ain't bad. Okay, you got the job. There was no guidance as to how to conduct ourselves on these job sites. Boilermakers do quality work. And our late president, C.W. Jones, thank God, got together with the owner's advisory committee and they said the safety is a, is a big thing now. The most program was created and took us to a different place safety-wise. And basically, I think it saved our trade. To date, there are 17 programs. We started with the Common Arc program for well testing, then the drug testing, and it's expanded into eyewear program. There is rigging, there is OSHA 10 and OSHA 30, and leadership classes, and the latest addition is the Boilermaker Code. Having people coming out to the job sites already trained to know what to do. Uh, have the safety culture already instilled, the positive safety culture. Every single person that goes on these jobs, they know what they're doing. The Boilermakers are right there through their training programs to develop those skills. And now I look into the most programs and say they have the Common Art program, which qualifies the welders before they even come out of the project, reducing owners' and contractors' costs for getting certifications of welding by up to 95% reduction in cost. And you got all the other trades sitting in training or taking a welding test, and we got our feet on the ground and we got sparks flying. If you just look at the numbers, the numbers tell the story. Well, we're not trying to embellish on anything we have. We're just, it's the proof. So we, we, we want to go to the owners and contractors and just show it. It's there. And the numbers today show that we are one of the safest crafts out there. It's very important that everyone gets to go home at the end of the night, and that's ultimately most's goal and also every contractor and owner that our Boilermakers work for. Most is filled with trustees. It's not just Boilermakers, it's owners, it's contractors, and it's Boilermakers. From an owner's perspective, we absolutely need the skills that the Boilermakers provide. The owners, I think, is really where it's at, because it's their property. It's kind of like it's their house, right? People are going to just come in my house and do what they want unless I trust them. And so we've got to be in lockstep with one another, working as collaboratively and constructively as possible. And I think through most and what they've shown the owners and through the contractors, we're more welcome into that house. We couldn't do what we do without the Boilermakers. 
makes me feel that most is accomplishing what they set out to do. And there's still a lot more to accomplish, so we're not done yet.